later in the season to get, you know, especially if you're, you know, playing for something, you know, keeping all the key players and keeping your depth, you know, it matters. You know, uh, you know, with Cage being down, uh, you know, we got Matt, you go in there and make plays, Tyler Simmons, d Rock, you know, we got a lot of people. And, you know, all those guys staying healthy and even vice versa on defense, you know, we all got to stay healthy so we can, you know, help the team win. How have you done that, Mo? I know the first couple of years there were some, some injuries, but you know now you look like you're playing like a wrecking ball. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with you. Is it just was it just the off season, or how much of it is just how much of it is luck versus training conditioning? You know, I, I look at a lot of things. I feel like if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. You know, you can't really prevent it. But uh, you know, it's God. You know, I was you know like I said, it was just way of slowing me down last year. You know, I guess I was moving too fast. But, you know, yeah, it's definitely a little bit of luck, you know, because injury rate is 100%. And, you know, especially with the last, like, four games we just played, you know, those are some tough games, especially that Auburn one. Yeah, so. Kirby was talking about how much more buy-in you have in, into the system. And I, I don't I don't know exactly what that means in linebacker talk. Is it just your knowledge of the system or your ability to anticipate? Or was there a time when – you had to understand how everything worked for you to understand your role. Yeah, I mean, I know about 99% of the defense now, but, you know, every day I'm still learning, you know. Uh, there's all these little nuggets in this defense that can help you be, a, you know, a good player and productive. And, you know, I just try to, you know, uh, listen to Coach Schumann because he's smart. He's probably he's probably the smartest coach on the staff, in my opinion. But, um, you know, there's all these little nuggets and tips that you can take in his defense, you know, help you out and, you know, help you be successful. Yeah, give me an example. He, he said, I know that you said that, you know, Jarzman. He said, you know, you're learning how to use the tools of the defense better. What would be an example of, of, of a tool of the defense you can learn better? Is he talking about leverages, where you line up? So, uh, when, when we're running our some of our blitzes and the other linebacker, you know, has the running back, uh, you can give Aziz a call, uh, give him a signal, you know, he, it lets him know to, you know, take the running back. I'm not going to tell you what that word is but, right. or the signal, but, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a few words or hand signal, you know, you can let, you know, the edge rusher, it has to be an athlete to, you know, take your responsibility and you replace him. That's so you're just picking up on something the offense is fixing to do and you're, you're making an adjustment on the floor? Yeah, like, let's just say, like, the running back is close to the boundary. He's going to free release, run a wheel. If you can't get to him, because, you know, when they get to the, uh, when the running back lines up to the boundary and the receivers line up close, they're trying to pick you, obviously. So, you know, that's just a way, you know, getting you out of a conflict so, you know, they don't complete the ball and make a big play. Obviously, you're a Mike and make a lot of calls and stuff. Um, JR just got uh, made a finalist for, for uh, the Thorpe Award, which is a pretty big deal. He makes a bunch of calls, too. Can you talk about how he fits in, you know, and how you guys work together? And, and uh, you know, JR's stats aren't flying off the stat sheet, but obviously he does a lot for this defense. You know, he's a field general. He gets Mark Webb lined up a lot, especially Mark <laughs> Webb. He gets him lined up a lot. Uh, you know, he just makes everything right on the back end. Uh, so does Richard and, you know, all those other guys. But, um, you know, JR is just a field general. You know, he's going to make sure everything's done right, and he's going to do his job, and he's going to do it to the best of his abilities. What's you, different with the defense this year with, you know, uh, Dan Lang and Glenn Schumann sort of calling it and organizing it versus Mel Tucker last year? You know, I was just talking to somebody about that today. I actually don't know. Don't know. It's a good question. We, we obviously, growing up, I'm sure you played on both sides of the ball. What, what did you play on offense? Running back. Yeah. And, and, when, and how did you make the call? Because you're still built like a running back. How did you make the call to play linebacker over running back? Well, honestly, uh, so, you know, I pointed to James Clemens. We're in the playoffs against you at Tresville. And, you know, it was fourth and five, Coach uh, put me in a run of Wildcat. And, you know, I got the five yards, but I just remember getting up. And, man, like, air, like, you know, I'm just, it's just like a target on your back. Everybody hitting you, you know, people pulling on your ankles, people just hitting you, and I ain't really, I ain't really like that. I'd rather be the one hitting. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's how I switched over. But you did get the first day. I did. Yeah. And I know you guys don't do a whole lot of live and going to the ground now, but I'm sure early in your career, you had to have some matchups with Swift. How did that go early? And, and did you guys get along early, or does it take a little while to earn that respect? And uh, you know, I definitely, you know, respect Swift as a player. You know, he's his ability to make people miss, I'll just tell you, it's crazy. Uh, you know, I ain't never seen nothing like it. But, um, yeah, you know, we've had some battles, you know. He might be up. <laughs> 
he might be up in those battles. But, you know, he makes us better as a player because, um, you know, in the game, it's not too many running backs that can, you know, maneuver like him, him like him or Brian or Cook, especially James James Fair. And there's not too many running backs that can, you know, do what they do all the time at a high level like that. Like, you saw Swift made the dude from Texas A&M miss. That's supposed to be a tackle for loss. He made him miss, you know. Just crazy. I don't know how he does it. I wish I knew how to make people miss like that. See, then you still be running back. Yeah. <laughs> you got a favorite Thanksgiving side, side dish? No, I just like turkey. Any more questions? Thanks. Thanks.